Hey guys, I'm Louie from Louie's Loops, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a uh, sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. Um, and this is 10 sonic screwdriver. I haven't yet had a chance to make uh, 11, but um, I'm going to get there. Uh, anyhow, so let's just jump right into it. So today I'm using a size um, G crochet hook and four different colors of yarn. So um, this is Line Brand's Cottonies. And we have uh, just gray, black, blue, and then this is um, Lily uh, Sugar and Cream yarn, and it's um, uh, it's like an off white. It's not if you can tell. It's not it's not really white. It's more like an eggshell or something. Anyhow, so yeah, and this video is probably going to be split into two, um, most likely because it's probably going to be a long long video but let's just get going so we're gonna start with the blue um, and get a little bit of yarn here I'll make a slip knot and there we go oh and before I get started uh, a good idea probably because this is such a long pattern um, check out my website uh, it, where you can read along with with what we're doing it, it'll probably be easier that way um, there's a pattern, or the there. I'll put a link in the description, and then I'll also throw a link right here where you can go and uh, read along while we're while we're going through this. Um, okay. So to start off, we're going to make a slip knot and chain two, and then we're going to single crochet six into the second chain from the hook, right there. And you can use the magic hoop method here too. Um, I like using the ch uh, just chain two because it it just I don't know it seems easier to me uh, more straightforward. So it's three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now we're just going to uh, single or uh, single crochet two in each. So we're increasing in each stitch around, and there's no turning throughout this whole pattern. Um, I try to make my patterns like that because it just seems easier to me. So we're just going to go in the first one made right here, and we'll go ahead and single crochet two into that one, and we'll keep going on. So two into the next, one, two, one, two, so this is six, seven, and eight, and nine and ten. Oh, one more, sorry. Eleven, twelve. Okay, so now we're just going to single crochet one in each all the way around. Um, and so that's just going to be twelve all the way around. So that's two, three, and this is obvious, pretty easy. Four, five, six. Seven, almost done. Eight, nine. Okay, now I, I'm gonna stop at nine really quick because we're gonna go grab our gray color. Um, because we're going to change over to the color gray. There's the end. There it is. Um, and if you guys want to learn how to do color changes, pretty easy. Oh, we lost it. There it is. Uh, you, I'll put a link to a video right here. Um, so check out that video. It'll teach you guys how to. Do color changes really, um, really easy. But yeah, so let's finish our round. So we have three more stitches, and we're gonna grab our gray, and we're going to single crochet around it to lock it into place. One, two, and three. Okay. Now we're gonna switch over to gray, pull through, and now we're just gonna do another round of just single crocheting one in each. Now, I already just did one uh, and did it around the blue, so we're going to cut the blue loose because we're not going to need it um, for a while, actually. Um, so we're going to go with gray for a few rounds here to finish up the top. So all we have to do now is single crochet one in each, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, all right, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now it's where it gets a little bit trickier, but it, not really. Um, we're just going to um, just double crochet one in each around. Uh, now some people would chain one here, but I think it looks better if you just don't. It, it kind of makes a hole if you chain one and then double crochet. But we're just going to double crochet one in each stitch around. Two. Three. And now the round after this one is where it's going to get a little bit more um, a little bit more confusing. It's really why I made the video in the first place because I realized I was just going to put this on my website and then I realized, you know what, this part's going to be kind of weird. Um, people might want to see how to how to do this. So let's finish up this round of double crochets. Now, if you can see see how the yarn here is coming out the top, that um, that's the only problem with doing these chain two single crochet around or six around kind of way instead of doing a magic loop method. So some people might want to do a magic loop there so that that won't happen or whatever, you know. Okay. Ooh. One more. All right. So now we're going to, um, it, we're basically double crocheting in each one around, but for four of the stitches, it's a little different. So it's for the first one, especially. So for the first one, I'm going to wrap it around like we're going to do double crochet. And we're going to crochet around this bar, um, around the last double crochet bar that we made. So you just go like that, pull through, and then pull through one, and then pull through both, just like that. Okay? Okay, so we just double crochet around the bar um, instead of in just the stitch. So now we're going to uh, just double crochet around again. So um, yarn over, and then we're going to go into the next stitch, which is right here. That, and double crochet one. And we'll do that for the next three. So just regular double crochets for three. Um, so again, that's one double crochet around the first bar around the double crochet bar and then three in just the regular stitches and then another one around the bar so it's yarn over and we go around this bar right here pull through pull through one and then pull through two just like that okay do that again so three double crochets one let's get a little bit more yarn Two and three. Okay. Then around the bar. I think this is our yeah, this is our last one. Okay, and then one two and one more three okay so you're just double crocheting around this bar um, we did our bars um, we did our double crocheting round now we're going to do a single crochet round but again for the first one and every four we're going to do a single crochet around the bar so we're going to go around this bar again and just pull one through instead of two this time and just or instead of a double crochet and just pull it through and then we'll go in the next stitch which looks like it's right here but really it's right here you guys will know what I'm talking about when you when you do it but um, so then single crochet in the next three two and three okay so we're going around that bar in the next three single crochet around the next bar again that okay 
into the next stitch, the next three stitches. We just do one single crochet. One, two, and three. Around the bar again. In the next three. One, two, and three. Okay, so that'll be the end of the round, and we don't have to do that anymore. Um, and again, so that what that's making right here is just the top, um, just the top layer. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a round where we decrease to nine. So we're at 12 stitches around right now. You should be at 12. Um, and now we're going to decrease to nine. So how we're going to do that is we're going to single crochet one in the first. Oops. Let's get that again. The problem with line brand yarn, uh, cottonese yarn, is that it can get untangled pretty easy. So there we go, we're back to normal. You can get untangled and thready and stuff like that. But anyhow, go into this stitch right there. Single crochet one. Single crochet one in the next two. Okay. Now we're going to decrease one. And how you do that is you pull one through the first, and then one through the next, and pull the one that you pulled through that one through both of these. So that'll decrease it once. Okay, so again that's we're going to repeat that so two single crochets one, two, and then one decrease. Pull one through the first, one through the next, and then one through both. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, Ooh. was it one, two, three? Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then decrease one more. This will be the last one. Nine. Okay, so that'll decrease all the way to nine for that one. Okay, pretty, pretty easy. Now we're just going to do uh, one single crochet in each one around. Again, pretty simple. Uh, a good technique that I use because it, it, you can't get your finger in here and crochet. So what I like to do is I like to pinch it closed like that and then go grab it like that. It, it just makes it easier to, to me. Um, and again, so we're just single crocheting one all the way around. Pretty easy. Now we're almost done with half of the first half. Okay. One more. All right. So we finished our round where we just do one single crochet in each. Now we want to stop for a second and stuff it. Um, and the reason is because it gets really tough to stuff it stuff this the the end of it without it so oh okay so we have some stuffing let me grab some stuffing real quick and you don't need much for just the end so let's put it there right now all right and get a pencil um, or it comes with a stick sometimes um, and take a little bit less and we'll just stuff it into the end just like this Sometimes it can be kind of tough to do this. You got there's like a definitely a technique. You can't be like too rough with that. All right, so that should be enough. We don't want it too too stuffed. All right, so there we go. Okay, now. 
back to crocheting we are going to let's put the stuff here on the side we are going to increase back to the 12 um, so what we do is we go single crochet one in the first one in the next and then increase in the next so that means two single crochets in the next stitch so that's three and four and repeat that three times so five six seven and eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay now we're just going to do two rounds two rounds of just single crocheting one in each all the way around easy and just do it with gray so that's pretty easy just go ahead and single crochet one in each that one more time. Okay, we're going to stop right here because we're going to grab our other color. And this is the off shell or eggshell off white kind of color. Um, you probably use white too, but I think the color, the, the real color is like eggshelly. And so we're going to single crochet one in each or one in the next three to finish off this round one two and here's the last one I'm gonna change over to eggshell alright so now this is gonna be the end of part one um, so check out part two I'll put a link right you know right here for part two and where we're gonna finish up um, the the um, sound screwdriver. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Check out part two right here.